digital transformation is uh, using technology to radically improve business performance or reach of the business. But unfortunately, things are not that simple usually uh, to implement digital, digital transformation properly. Usually, uh, quite a lot of surgery around uh, business processes, operational uh, processes and customer experience. We are living in a times when time between innovation, creation and mass adoption is shorter than ever. Uh, therefore, for many companies, digital transformation, successful digital transformation, is actually a question of survival. And the, the thing is that uh, nobody, nobody can do it uh, on its own. Uh, therefore, to make successful uh, digital transformation, you need partnership. And we strongly believe that collaborative partnership is the, the best way to do it. And, and there are many examples of the companies uh, using other people's technology to complement its own technology or companies which are uh, sharing their technology with other companies as part of their solutions. So in, in today's world, it becomes critical and crucial, crucial skill to know how to identify partners based on innovation potential and execu execution power. Digital transformation could be positioned um, within three dimensional matrix. Uh, and dimensions are disruptive technology, digital capabilities and, and leadership capabilities. In the area of, of digital capabilities, it's usually important areas are customer experience, operational processes, new business models. But it's equally important to develop leadership capabilities, uh, strong transformative leadership, strong governance around it, deep engagement, and technology leadership. But these are two sides of the, of the coin. So, so digital capabilities are actually what has to be done and, and uh, leadership capabilities are how, how that should be done. And it's very important to develop these two in parallel uh, to avoid digital capabilities without leadership, then you have uh, great and shiny latest technology stack but with no value to the, to the business. Or if you have cons conservative leadership, then you, you could easily get into the trap that you are falling behind with, with digital capabilities. And then uh, third dimension uh, is disruptive technology and that dimension is very important because it very often dictates speed you know, more disruptive technology, more quickly you have to react. I would say up to a certain level, we could make some, some uh, general observations, definitely. Uh, some industries, as you, would, as you would imagine, you are in, 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 in similar business, media, for example, uh, very advanced with digital transformation, uh, retail, banking. Um, so for example, uh, if you go to, to one of the biggest Irish banks today to open an account, it will take five minutes and they will take photos with, with tablets or phones. Uh, Ten or twelve years ago when I, when I came to Ireland, uh, it was not like that. Uh, I had to provide that, that many uh, documents. It was four or five days and then, um, then I got my account. Uh, but then there are also industries which are lagging behind. Um, industries like, like healthcare, like automotive, uh, logistics. Uh, they are not well advanced uh, in terms of digital transformation. But there is also good news there because a lot of experience could be transformed from uh, industries which are more, which are more advanced. Uh, so Agile is, is these days probably the, the world's best known innovation, innovation engine. And to understand Agile well, it's also very important to know historic context of, of, of Agile. So in the past, uh, software was usually de delivered on the slow uh, delivery cycle with a lot of bureaucracy. And uh, 
when people would deliver software, it would take so much time that basically original requirements didn't make sense, didn't make sense anymore. So Agile tried to address, uh, to address these issues. Process is much shorter. Uh, feedback loop is incorporated much earlier, much earlier in, the, in the whole process. Uh, it means that what's delivered is actually meaningful for the business, uh, much faster and with much less bureaucracy. Uh, so properly implemented Agile is actually uh, very valuable for many businesses today. But the emphasis here is, is on properly because many companies are uh, not, not implementing Agile properly. And uh, what's implemented is very often just shell around what they already have, and just imitating, imitating Agile. Uh, to properly implement Agile, usually deep change is required, deep cultural change within organization, and to embrace it, uh, it, it has to be through all levels, uh, vision, mission, objectives, strategy, tactics, all of it to the whole organization has to be aligned to adopt Agile principles.